Well, we're working on two unknowns. Now let's look at this T chart. This is one that I slipped in here after many years of these other programs. I thought, well, I better put one of these in here. And I wanted to see how fast you can do this, but let's just see how this goes. So graph five equations by completing the chart to finish a race. Let's just see. And this is a T chart, and here's an equation. We want to find out what this equation looks like. So you can make up your own y, mo on, own x's, I'm sorry. Make up your own x's and find the matching y. And it's traditional to choose negative one. Some people like negative one, zero, and one, and other people don't like negative, so they'll use zero, one, and two. Whichever way you like it. You can go zero, I'll let you choose it. Or you could pick your own if you're silly enough to choose 10, 4, and 6 or something. But I like to pick negative 1, 0, and 1. If we put negative 1 in here for x, we get negative 2. I hope you see that. If we put 0 in here, that's my favorite. It's negative 1. And if I put a 1 in here, we get a 0. And we can check these points to see if we've calculated the matching y's correctly. And you can see now we're putting negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2 is right here. 0, negative 1, and 1, 0. And then I put a line through it so you can see that these, this chart is correct. And this is what this line looks like. Let's do another one. Negative 1. So negative 2, and so this would be negative 5. 0, my favorite, is easy. It's negative 3. 1 would be 2 minus 3 is 1. Check. Oops, it looks like I got one wrong. X is 1. Oh, it should have been. If X is 1, it should have been 2. It should have been negative 1. What was I thinking? Now check, and you can see we get 2, 1. I could say I did that on purpose, but I didn't. I was just being silly. Anyway, this is how you can see if you can graph an equation of a line with a t-chart. See why it's called a t-chart? Thanks. Bye.